Yale seems like the school you go to when mom and dad are big shot lawyers, hedge fund managers. My impression of Colburn is... You better say nice things, they watch this. <laughs> Every stereotype about music schools comes first and foremost from Julia. New England conservatory music. I don't really know that much about it. <laughs> except... That's a great... Impression. Except that it's really hard to get a scholarship there. The chamber music there is so great. Mm -hmm. Like people really put effort in it. Curtis, first impression, best music school. Hello, 大家好，欢迎来到乔乐 Coco。今天呢，我请了这两位朋友，一个是 Kevin Lin。Hi， 大家好。Jacob Joyce。Hi， did you just forget my name？ Yes。Today we're going to be talking about some music schools in the U.S., our own experience, and what other people think about the students that go there. 就是要来分享美国的音乐院，他们当时如何去申请，然后为什么选这些学校。因为我们三个呢都是去念了不同的音乐院，总共有六间。Obviously, we all know what school Jacob's gone to. Yeah, I figured for today's video, I don't really like wearing college clothing, but had to wrap. You are always wearing a Michigan shirt, though. Kevin, 大学的时候去了 Coburn， 我去 MSM， 就是 Manhattan School of Music。然后 Jacob 去了 Yale， 耶鲁大学。Woo! 硕士的时候 ，Kevin 去了 Curtis， 我在 Juilliard， 然后 Jacob 在 NEC New England Conservatory。所以我们现在第一个问题就是。Kevin 去了 Coburn， 那我们两个都没有去嘛？那我们两个对 Coburn 的印象是什么？然后跟他真正在那边当学生的 impression 是什么 ？OK， my impression of Coburn is you better say nice things. They watch this. <laughs> it's very small. Yeah. I would say that it's almost a little bit cultish. Has a negative connotation.、Hmm. You're either a Colburn student or you're not. Like that's part of a small initiated group that you're a part of. They have all of their own traditions. And I also think musically, they produced very distinct players. More than almost any other school, you can hear people like who went to Colburn specifically. So that's my impression of Colburn. All right, what do you think? The students are really talented,、mm -hmm. smart,、mm. and then <laughs> cut that out. Yeah, cut that out. <laughs> Why do you think Colburn students are smart? Because Kevin is smart. I didn't go to Yale though, so like. Ah,、oh, uh, okay. Okay, cut all that out. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's free. Everything is free. It's small. It's、mm -hmm. new. I don't know. Yes, I, I've never been.、New. Yeah, I've never been inside. All right. Part of the reason I I selected Colburn was one, it was free. Everything was free. Right. Because、um, colleges in America are very very expensive.、Mm -hmm. Never had to worry about money. They pay for all your living and your food as well. And having grown up on the East Coast and around New Jersey, New York, I wanted to experience what California was like too. So the location of the school was also very important.、Um, obviously, very competitive environment. So I can see why some people maybe you know turned away from that experience. But、uh, I personally like pressure. I like. Uh, comparing myself to others,、um, the students are very talented. Also, it's a small school, yeah. So, hence the semi-cultish environment. Just because you spend a lot of time together and you become this giant, small family. Yeah, I get the sense that everyone who ever went to Colburn knows everybody knows each other. Yeah, yeah, everybody yeah. knows each other a little too well. How many students are there?、Um, uh, when I was there, I think in the music school is roughly 100 people, so just enough for one orchestra. That was it. Wow, it's really small. So Manhattan School Music. Okay, I'm a little biased because I went to pre-college in, in, in Manhattan School Music. Yeah, let's hear it. Giant school, right? A、uh -huh. lot of students,、uh -huh. and I feel like there is a big distinction between the very good students and then everyone else.、Mm -hmm. Other outsider's perspective of MSM. Yeah. This might be shaded by my own personal experience with it. Okay. I feel like MSM people are really out to assert that they're like New Yorkers and they live in Manhattan. There's like a certain way that MSM students dress and conduct themselves. It's even in the name. It's like we're the Manhattan, Manhattan School. <laughs> like we. Oh, I live in the city. It is. It is. Yeah. The city. It is. But the city. There are many cities in the world. I think MSM students really assume the identity of New Yorkers. Yeah. Okay. Fine. So, what is it? So, actually, your what is it actually like? Did you have a good time there? I did. Okay. I did. Okay. First, how I ended up there is because、um, my teacher in Taiwan, 
she studied there. Mm -hmm. She suggested me、um, that I can apply.、Yeah. Back then, I was like in Taiwan, so、mm -hmm. I just take the suggestion and I apply for the school. Very cool. Hot shot over here. Seriously. That's my very first time in New York,、mm -hmm. so it was pretty shocking. Yeah, big culture shock. Yeah, I grew up in a small town in Taiwan,、mm -hmm. so I just like flew directly to New York by myself. When I was 18 years old, it was pretty fun for me to just because everything new.、Mm -hmm. I would say it's really different from Taiwan. What was the most shocking thing when you arrived in New York?、Um, in the dorm, we used to have like male dorm and then like female dorm. Oh, the co-ed dorm, so like、yeah. both together. Yes. Yeah. So like when I get there,、um, the next door neighbor, they are guys.、Mm. So I was like, how is that possible? Like,、mm, it's <laughs> legal. Yeah. <laughs> And then the restroom is like just right at the hallway, and then actually like guys can, I mean they are not going to enter the but they restroom, could. but they could, yeah. I see. So I was like kind of scared, like、mm. I would bump into a guy. Actually, there was one time I bumped into a guy in the restroom. You should you should call him out. <laughs> Maybe he was too drunk. That was a big shock. I'm more、uh, used to hang out with. Strings. Not that easy to get to know other students. I would、cool. say. Yeah. Sweet. All right. So Yale. Yeah. What's the outsider impression of Yale undergrad? I'm curious. Yale undergrad. As a guy who didn't go to university, Yale seems like the school you go to when mom and dad are big shot lawyers, hedge fund managers.、Mm. You went to one of those fancy Philip Exeter schools. Got a 2400 on your SATs, and、uh, your parents have a weekend home in, in the Hamptons. Okay. Very smart. Okay. It's huge, and then like you have other majors, not only music, right? I would assume the campus is like way bigger than the conservatories. You're not gonna talk about your other degree. Now, look at this humble, bra like, humble we, bragging over we, here. Are we keeping this? I'm surprised that you said it's a big school because、yeah. actually, among like non-music school universities, it's pretty small. Feels、oh, like、yeah. you know a lot of people. I went there for undergrad and for I was in the music school for grad school, which are different things.、Mm -hmm. Undergrad, very big school, an academic college. So even the music major is like. History and theory—it's only partly performance.、Mm -hmm. The school of music. Then I was violin major. That was very small, also all free.、Mm -hmm. mm. But I think、yeah. in both cases, maybe people think of it as a very—it is a very hard place to get into.、Yeah. But not in my experience particularly competitive. I thought it was very like supportive environment. The stereotype which I found was that Yale students are a lot chiller in a way,、mm -hmm. a little bit. It's, it's a more supportive environment. Loved it going to school there. The city, I actually loved New Haven. The city gets、cool. a lot of bad rap as well, but and the school of music is good too. Totally free, much smaller, but also a pretty good and supportive environment. Very good. So fun place to go to school. I have to say, highly recommended. But why?、Yeah. Why did you apply for Yale? I ended up applying there because when I was applying to colleges, I was really torn between going to college or going to music school. So I applied to Yale. I applied to I applied to like Columbia, Juilliard. I was gonna apply to Oberlin. I applied to a lot of the places where you can do both. Nice.、Um, and I ended up going to Yale, which is not at all a music school, but because the school of music is there, the undergrads get a lot of, if you want, a lot of really good musical experience. And、mm -hmm. so. While I wasn't in a music school, I feel like I got a pretty good. I was able to practice a lot, and I, I didn't feel like I lost ground on my colleagues over the course of college who were in music school.、Nice. So that was that was a big part of it. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Curtis. Okay. Curtis. All right. Impressions. Let's talk about Curtis. Let's talk about Curtis. The first impression, Curtis, best music school. That's what people generally think I'd say. It's the cream of the crop. Especially in terms of the students, I'd say. I think general consensus is that Curtis students are the most talented,、uh, probably the hardest to get into. Also very small, also totally free.、Mm -hmm. My impression is that Curtis students are mostly so good that they're like not usually at Curtis; they're usually off soloing somewhere. <laughs> so that's that's the impression of Curtis. But also, I'd say the students. Give me a little bit more of the impression of like less social. All the time is spent in the practice room.、Mm -hmm. They are preparing to be real intense soloists. 
So that's that's my impression. 那边的学生年纪都很小 ，right? I would say like I don't know, no like thirty plus years old. Oh no, 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 no. Yeah, right. So like very young age. I yeah, I got there when I was twenty twenty one. So you're considered. I was the oldest. I was the oldest student. Yeah, I was the oldest student by far. And it's really confusing. Um, I do think they're all very uh, talented people, especially. And my experience is like the younger they are, the more talented they are. Yeah. Because you would walk through the hallways and you would be like, "That is so good." Yeah. And you walk past, and it's like some five-year-old with their mom. <laughs> That's another impression of Curtis is that you can kind of just start going there whenever you're ready. You, all right, it's, all right, five years old is, is an exaggeration, but like some very, very young kid who just went to school during the day and it's like 4 p.m. and now they're coming and practicing. It's like that kind of, it's like right. that kind of kids. And you definitely get a lot of kids who, yeah, they're just like, they're there sometimes and then the rest of the time it's like, oh, where is this kid? Oh, they're, they're, in, they're in LA, swimming with LA Phil. It's like, oh, okay, what about him? Oh yeah, he's in he's in Germany playing with some big orchestra in Germany. It is intimidating being there, but also the faculty and student relationship is extremely supportive. I was not stressed there per se because the faculty always treated you as colleagues. That was very 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 clear. There was no teacher student relationship. It was just everyone was just in the building and everyone just mingled with each other, which I really. Really enjoyed. But I thought the students there would be like depressed because everyone else is so good. I can't speak about other people. My personal experience, I loved it. I thought it was it was the right kind of pressure for me. And I think it it, it really depends on who you are as a person. But I like that kind of pressure. Mm -hmm. And so for me, it was good. I wasn't depressed or anything. I feel like I drove I've me met a lot of people who seem to have a positive experience. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think yeah. Which is a great way to transition to Coe's grad school. Juilliard. <laughs> when we're talking about people who haven't had such a great experience, let's talk of... about let's talk about Juilliard. But I also have heard of people who who do enjoy. It. Hundred percent. Yeah. I think every school will have both. Yeah. My impression of Juilliard is that every stereotype about music schools comes first and foremost from Juilliard. Like, like what? Competitive, cutthroat. Kind of feels like a small environment, very specialty school, like in a way very elite, like like big name. Elite, oh, yeah. I get that sense. Like most other music schools, you go there's some quirks character where they're different from that music school mold of here's what people think a music school is. Juilliard, my impression is like like you have to reserve practice rooms. People like will leave their stuff in practice Ooh, rooms to hold those them. People. Like people are complaining that they don't have enough time in their practice rooms, even though they live in New York City. Mm. Like dorms are very small. That's my impression of Juilliard. Okay, my personal thing. I've always yeah. wanted to go to Juilliard. Really? I didn't get into Juilliard pre-college. Okay. Mm. I didn't go get into Juilliard pre-college, which is why I went to MSM pre-college. Okay. Mm. And so I've always had that chip on my shoulder. Uh huh. Of like, ah, I wasn't good enough to get in when I was younger. And also, I grew up. Around New York City, so I've always wanted to live in the city, right. and that part of New York City is really cool. To yeah, me. yeah. Um, so I've always wanted to go there, but never had the chance to, to do so. First of all, you went there for grad school, yes. So maybe it's a little different, mm -hmm. right? But tell That's us right. about grad school at least. Well, I think for me, going to Manhattan School of Music is a good transition to Juilliard. Yeah. That just a couple blocks down. Yeah, and then also like, cause I would say MSM is less competitive. Less competitive. Yeah. yeah. Also, when I went to Juilliard, I already knew a few of my friends mm -hmm, there, mm -hmm. so it was pretty quick for me to get used to the environment. I actually enjoy my time there. Mm -hmm. The practice rooms are limited. And yeah. you do have to um, go there early to secure the room, mm -hmm. but I think now the system changed. Like you can book it online or something. Great. Mm -hmm. But back then, I need to go to the school like I don't know, a something, a thirty or like nine. <laughs> See, when I was an undergrad, I never woke up before eleven. Oh God. Before eleven. That was the great thing about Colburn. You oh, wake up, you just go downstairs, and you're you're at the practice rooms. I mean, you could, you could reserve, but there's I mean, no one's no one's awake. <laughs> That's pretty great. It's a California lifestyle. Life is really busy. Mm -hmm. It's always like when you enter the building, you are going to work. Yeah, because when you enter the building, you have to go up like 
three floors of steps. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and also the doors to get into the building are so, so heavy. heavy. <laughs> yeah, it's a very imposing building. Yeah. Especially when I carry my cello. I'm sure, I'm sure. <laughs> Everything's really busy. Mm -hmm. It's even harder to get to know people. Yeah, because everyone's busy too. Everyone's just like right. running to one place to another. Yeah, so like when you meet a friend, you just like talk to them like less than 10 seconds. <laughs> I think it's really competitive. I have to say, actually, people are friendly. Like I never heard anything like, you know, rude. talk Talking behind your back or talking. Yeah, 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 yeah. right. They're really nice to each other, but Good. we just don't get really close, I think. When you're busy, that's what happens. Yeah, right. And the studio class are really great. I was really impressed by other like studio mates. Mm -hmm. Teachers are all really supportive. Love my teachers so much. The location is also great. Mm -hmm. There are many different classes you can take. Okay. They teach you to promote yourself. Entrepreneurship? Yeah, the very first time that I had that idea in my mind. I see. That I need to like go out there and then do more. To yeah. promote yourself? Right. Like make a YouTube channel. <laughs> right. Coco. Please like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's some Juilliard entrepreneurship right there. That's very good. Nice. That's very good. NEC, last one. New England Conservatory Music. I don't really know that much about it. <laughs> except... It's a great... Except impression. that it's really hard to get a scholarship there. That's that's like the only... So, no money. It's hard to get... Or yes. something like you can't get over 50% scholarship. Or something like that. Hmm. Yeah. It's hard to get a scholarship. That's what I, that's what I know. Yeah. I'd I, say that that's true. I guess we both can answer... You guys both went to NEC, right? Yeah, right. Clearly, I picked my school's you know, based on them being free. So That's a good that, choice. Yeah, that's a good yeah. choice. My dad's proud of me because yeah. of Yeah. <laughs> very good string players. I think that's the stereotype, which is true. Yeah, very good. String I love Boston. It's my favorite city. So in that way, I thought it was amazing. But it is kind of like one building. Everyone shows up, everybody goes home, spread out across Boston. Mm -hmm. Went there for grad school, so it's a little different, but I think it's, that's the impression. Very good orchestra, but a little antisocial. Okay. That's what I would say. All right, Ko, what do you think? I love NEC, actually, and then, um... Do you prefer, do you like it more than the New York schools? Or did yes. you like, or did you like Boston more than New York? Let's put yes. it that way. I was... Definitely. <laughs> Why? <laughs> it's probably a good city for study, like studying there. Boston. Yeah, because yeah, it's everyone it's like, there's super smart. Because it's not as busy as New York. Yes. In Boston, you can kind of like focus on your work. Mm -hmm. The chamber music there is so great. Mm -hmm. Like people yeah. really put effort in it, and they rehearse a lot, and they take it really seriously. Mm -hmm. I feel like in Juilliard, people just kind of like get it together before the coaching and. That's just my like, impression. But that's like real life experience. <laughs> that happens a lot in. Yeah. In the professional world. Yeah. yeah. I think you have to minute. go through the process of preparing, though. I think. Yeah, so you need to learn it first, yeah. and then you can. Yeah. Yeah, put but it in NEC, chamber music is a real thing. Like, mm. people, people take it seriously. Yeah. yeah. It's more like a family environment. Yeah. We get to know each other because of the chamber music. They take it so seriously. Why did you choose NEC? I chose NEC actually because for conducting programs where I was going, there are only a few that have a really good track record of... NEC has a very good conducting program. Placing people in jobs. Yeah. And so I actually only applied to two, Juilliard and NEC, mm. and didn't even get uh, an audition at Juilliard. Ooh, nice. Ooh. I'm actually incredibly glad that I ended up going to NEC. My I loved my teacher. It's a great place to study conducting, for sure. Very cool. I mean, I chose NEC because of uh, my teacher, Lawrence Lesser. Oh, cool. Yeah, and then I want to learn more about chamber music. And I've always heard good things about NEC, so I feel like it's a pretty small community. People all live like kind of close to NEC. So your like living lifestyle is like pretty small. That, was, my... you, that was you guys. Yeah. <laughs> Not me. I lived very far from Jake, me. I still hosted the best party in my entire time at NC. So. You want to talk about your party? No. Thanks so much for joining us here at the Cello, Cello Coco, Coco Show. channel. Please subscribe and like down below. Bye-bye. Hello, Wait, stop. Okay, one more time. I, I didn't, is, this, is, this good? is this good contrast for color? <laughs> Hello, 大家好,欢迎来到 Cello Coco. That's yeah! you! <laughs>
Fun, fun. That was a perfect take. I don't know. After Cello Coco, and then it's you. Yeah. <laughs> Woo!